Hi, I'm John Beck, and this week I'm answering the VB tournament question uh, posed by Sophia Gomez. Sophia said, which property does the programmer use to refer to an object in code? And the choices were caption, label, name, or text. And for programming, we refer to the name. And I've, I've created a little program that demonstrates this. So let me start by running my program. You see, I've, I've added a, uh, a label and I've added a text box, and I've added a button, and I've also added a neat little control I found and read up about called Tooltip. And what that does is Tooltip allows me to send a message uh, when you mouse over any of the controls. So I'm telling you, when you mouse over the label property, I am a label control, and my name is label one. So that's the property of, of that is label one. If I mouse over the um, text box it says, I am a text box control. My name is text box one. And this says, button text. I am a button control. My name is button one. And I also noticed that a forms text is actually called a caption. I didn't make a tooltip for the, the form uh, itself or the form caption. So this was the one of the red herring answers. Uh, it said caption. And so a caption is really still the, the the text property of it but let's go ahead and see how we can prove that the uh, object that we refer to for programming an object or the the property we use to to uh, program an object is the name and i showed that when by coding up my button text so when you click the button text so when you click button one you get, this is some text you last clicked button one at, and it tells what the time is that you clicked it at. And we can update that. So every time I do that, the program is executing some code. So I must have referred to that text box object in order to make my program go. And that's what I did. And that's what shows that my answer is right. So let me go ahead and stop the program. And if I double click on the button text, we'll see what happens in the code. So here's the code for that. And so textbox1.text. .text. So te uh, textbox1 is the name, and that's what we're referring to. And we're going to change its text property when button1.click happens. So when button1 has the click event fire off, textbox1, so that's the name of that control, is what's going to be modified, and we change the text property on it. So we refer to the object by its name, text box one. And let's go back to the to the uh, uh, form, and we can see if I bring this over here that indeed, if I click on text box one and you look at its properties, that it is the name that we're referring to. So there's the name, text box one. And so when I want to refer to an object in code, it's text box one. There's my answer, QED. Great question, Sophia.